You know, as far as try-hard quirky hipster bars go, this place is surprisingly tolerable. Glad you like it, young. Remember, though, it's just a good cover. Don't go too nuts in there. Can I, uh, buy you a drink? No, thank you. I'm waiting on someone. Well, how about you hang out with me until they get here? Who knows? You might decide a better company than they are. Hold on, sir. The only hanging out I want to do with you is over an open fire, while your hands and arms slowly burn to a crisp. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, sir. Erica, what the fuck? Oh, hey, my contact is here. We need to talk about what you just said to that guy. I'll call you back when I'm done. Hi, Erica. Hi, Tara. Is it time to disintegrate? How do you think this is going to end? Take me down to the final decision And the world will break apart today I know who your precious vessel is Take me down to the final decision And the world will break Today. The only thing I've ever done is run from them. And the world will break apart. It's time for Ariman to rise. Today. You can't keep hidden. You can't keep your secrets forever. Your plans will be stopped. Damn it! Cade, oh, I just cleaned up. Take your temper tantrum somewhere else. Sorry. Thank you. How could you be so calm about everything? Gabriel was our last good lead to find Peter and Robert. And it was a waste of time. And now we apparently have to add earthquakes to the list of problems we have to deal with. And you, you're, you're just as calm as can be. Well, you know... One of us has to be, huh? If we both went off half-cocked every time something didn't go our way, we'd accomplish nothing. Feels like we haven't gotten anything accomplished anyway. That's not true. We haven't found Robert or Peter, that's true, but we've gotten stuff done. Like what? Well, we know where they're not. Hmm? Which can help narrow down where they are. And we also help Burke and Bowman get evidence on that councilman that had been helping Barnabas. It's not the same thing. Look, the guy got arrested. I mean, that's a resource they won't have anymore. If it hurts them even just a little, then oh, I'm taking it as a win. Simple as that. You think they're still alive? The councilman? Yeah. Why? Do you know something I don't? Oh, oh, you mean Robert and, and Peter. Y'all, I, I have to believe that. Besides, Locke has this grand plan, and he's going to want an audience, right? He's going to want all of his enemies to be right there watching as it comes together. Yeah. So, what's our next step? Well... <sighs> We have no other leads that we can speak to, so we have to do a bit of digging to uncover the next thing. Oh, not this again. Look, I said from the start that whatever Locke has planned, Cinder has something to do with it. So, you really think our best course of action is to chase down a ghost story? Yeah. You really believe that this boogeyman is for real? A year ago, I would have told you no. But after everything we've seen, you you really want to tell me that it's not possible? I'm still not sure I'm not in a coma somewhere. That this is all some kind of weird dream. But you have a point. I'm not sure if anything is off the table now. So, where do we start? 
with the only other person who ever investigated Cinder. You know, this stuff was a whole lot more interesting when I was getting paid. Are you sure these walls are safe? If there's another earthquake, these could come crashing down on us. They've held up for hundreds of years, and they'll hold up for a hundred more. If anything, it's the roof that's a concern of mine. Yeah, like uh, every time we round a corner, and I'm expecting to see a rake. Rakes won't be hiding around the corner. I don't know much about rakes, but I know they're not known for their stealth. We will hear them coming long before they reach us. And when we do, what then? Hope for a good place to hide. You see them too? Yeah. Bodies. What the hell are they dressed in? I don't know. Looks like those biohazard suits you see in movies. What the hell are they doing down here? No idea. They haven't been dead that long, though. Have you heard anything on the news about this? No, nothing. You think it could be Barnabas or May? Maybe, but I don't think so. They wouldn't have bothered to send people in these outfits. There'd be no point to it. Barton? I don't know. If I had to guess, this is someone new. Someone who didn't understand what could happen to them. Great, so now we have new problems to deal with. I don't think so. Look at them. They came in unarmed, completely unprepared for what was down here. These people had no idea what they were walking into. So these poor bastards were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. It looks that way, yes. Damn. What concerns me the most is why were they brought here? What do you mean? This isn't where they were attacked. They were dragged here. How do you know that? Shit, if they were attacked here, where's all the blood? Exactly. That means the rakes brought them here for a reason. Yes, and it concerns me as to why. How sure are you that the rakes aren't stealthy? Not as much as I was a few minutes ago. Great. So do we keep going? Yeah. What choice do we have? Uh, get out of here and go get some Starbucks? Is that really what you want? Since all of this started, when has it ever mattered what I want? Wait a minute. What is it now? Listen. Listen to what? Oh, fuck. We've got to get out of here. Where would we go? Anywhere but here. No, the rakes are much too fast for us. Okay, fine, then what's your plan? Stay here and die? No, trust the Elder. Trust what she has given to you. You've got to be kidding me. You think now is the best time to test me? Trial by fire. Are you ready to burn, Peter? No, but what choice do I have? Remember what I've taught you. Remember all you have learned. Release the energy that you have been given. Now, Peter, hit them now. Uh, it's not working. So, what do you need? Seriously? Straight to business? Fine. We need all the information your organization has about what's in the tunnels. Do you mean the rakes? If they have anything on the rakes, we'll take it. But he's more concerned about anything else that's down there. He's worried about what caused the earthquake, isn't he? Yeah. He's concerned that it might have something to do with the tunnels. I overheard Gabriel talking about it to one of his followers. He alluded to something else, but didn't go into details. I can dig around, see what I can find. Do you know how long it'll take? I don't know. A day, maybe two. Gabriel got spooked by Kate really bad. And when he finds out you arrested Cook, he's going to start really freaking out. So he might be harder to get out of the office, but he'll want to make an appearance. After all, he can't look weak in front of his flock. So he'll come out eventually. And that's when I'll be able to look. Why are you still in? Don't start this. You know why. 
No, I don't. The job was to take down Barnabas. He's gone. Mission accomplished. The organization is on its last legs. With Cook gone, it's just a matter of time. They don't need you on the inside anymore. The job's not done yet. Barnabas's group was just one part of this. You, you know that. Being part of this gives me inside information into the others. Look at all the information I've given you over the last eight months. I'm in this until the whole thing crumbles into dust. You said a couple of months, tops. I went along because I knew you were the best candidate. I hated it, though. I absolutely hated it. When you went against the rakes, I couldn't show how worried I was for you. I had to act like everything was normal, but inside I was screaming. And even though you got hurt, the fact that you weren't willing to come back in, that killed me. I'm sorry, but this has to be done. No, it doesn't. <sighs> Maybe it did, but it doesn't now. The sheriff has been able to devote more resources to this now. He doesn't need someone on the inside now. I'm not willing to give this up. I know I'm close to finding something big, something that can tear down everything. Is that true, or are you just feeling guilty because of Peter? That's not fair. This has nothing to do with Peter. Darling, you forget I know you better than anyone else. Peter went missing on your watch. You don't know what happened to him, and you think your best shot of finding him was on the inside. Tell me I'm wrong. And if it's true, what's so wrong about that? Peter is a good guy. And if there's a chance that being on the inside can get him home, then I'm willing to stay a little longer to do so. And what, you don't feel guilty about Robert being taken? Please. That's different. I wasn't there. There was no way I could have stopped Locke from taking him. You could have come up with a different plan. You're the smartest person I know, Erica. How did you not come up with a better plan than have them walk right into a trap? I wasn't allowed to- Burke, right? You weren't allowed to interfere. We both had to play our roles. The only difference was that you learned that the people you had to watch were allies. But the sheriff didn't know that. You knew he thought Robert was neck deep in all this, and when Bowman started helping him, he thought he got caught up in it too. He didn't think they were trying to stop it, just like he wanted to do, but they were. And now you're one big happy family. Well, someone still has to be on the other side. Why? Give me one reason why you should be there. Because they aren't done. Gabriel is constantly planning, the others are constantly planning, and these people, they're fanatics. They don't care who they hurt, they don't care who they kill. If what I learned saves one person from getting hurt, it's worth it. No matter what it does to us. Don't you think this is killing me too? I miss you every day. But these people, these people know Cade. They know Karen. They know the cops are closing in, which means you're one of the people standing in their way. What do you think these people do with people they feel are threats? I can't risk not knowing because I would never be able to live with myself if anything happened to you and I could have stopped it. And how do you think I'll be able to live with myself if something happens to you? <sighs> I need... To go back. I can't risk someone seeing us together. Wouldn't want your cover blown. I love you. I'll get you the information as soon as I know anything. I love you too. Doctor, why are we at your former residence? Simple. This is where they're keeping May. Really? Where you were keeping Ezekiel the entire time? Yes. I suppose Gerald thought nobody would think to look here. Looks like he was not wrong. Indeed. How many people will be watching her? Oh, that I cannot help you with. See. Perhaps you should have chosen a traitor with higher status. Then maybe she would have known more. Don't you think about questioning my loyalty. Oh, my dear, I'm not questioning your loyalty. I am merely questioning your usefulness. However, I must thank you for that. For what? 
Well, if you were better informed, George would have never let me out of my little cell. Your incompetence helped set me free. Shut up. Ouch. Now, now, Tatum. We do not have time for this pettiness. Let him talk. He won't be our problem for very much longer. As you wish. Now, Tatum, if you'll go in and demonstrate your usefulness. Yes, sir. What the hell? Tatum? Oh my god, what happened to you? She's covered in blood. <gasps> they came out of nowhere. The rakes? No. It was people. Who would dare? I... I don't know. It was over too fast. I don't know how I escaped. What about Gerald? No. Oh, man. What do we do? How many of you are there? Just the two of us. We need to get May and get her out of here. You think she had something to do with this? I don't know, but she can't be allowed to go free. Not after everything she did. Come on, she's down here. Hello. Is it time for dinner already? Oh, you brought a new face. Come on, we're moving you. Really? And where am I being moved to? Stop asking questions and come on. Whatever you say, boss. Where are we going to go? I don't know. I might have a suggestion. Wait. <laughs> what are you- ah! <laughs> Are you okay? Just fine, dearie. I was quite looking forward to doing that myself, but... Oh well. No sense crying over spilled milk. Follow me. As you wish. And you weren't the only one waiting to do that. George. I've been waiting for you. What's he doing here? A simple you're welcome will suffice. Don't trouble yourself with him. He was merely a means to find you. Did you feel it? I did. Does it mean what I think it means? I think so. Then that means... Yes. Everything is going according to plan. Interesting. Who would be calling you? Doctor, I would suggest that you leave before I change my mind. You're letting him go? May. He is nothing. Let him go and be nothing elsewhere. We have too much at stake. Quite right. Like a phone to answer. If we see you again... I know, I know. I've heard it all before. You have nothing to fear from me. I'm just going to disappear into the night. Let me kill him. No. Now's not a good time, Claudia. What do you want? I'm sorry, Georgie. Miss Elwich can't come to the phone right now. She's too busy bleeding all over the floor. Barnabas. How did you escape? Funny thing about that room you had us locked in. Very secure. Very secure indeed. However, it's amazing what one can convince guard of after a little earthquake. Claudia came right in to check on us. After that, it was really quite simple. I see. It doesn't matter. You won't be able to stop us. Just like we wouldn't be able to escape. See, Georgie, your biggest weakness is your mouth. You will like to talk an awful lot. I know exactly what you have planned. What happened? A 
problem. You should have killed them when you had the chance. Now is not the time for that conversation. Oh, Dr. Barton, <laughs> I would like to amend our agreement. I have a proposition for you. I'm all ears, Mr. Locke. Tunnels was written by Robert Chauncey and Charlie Dukes and was produced by Haunted Griffin Entertainment. It stars in order of appearance. Caitlin Buckley as Young. Carrie Michael Ayers as Burke. Andrew Parker as Man in Bar. Tanya Molovich as Tara. Randy Cool as Cade. Sarah Golding as Karen. Charlie Dukes as Peter. Pete Lutz as Ezekiel. Jason D. Johnson as Locke. Thoro Smiley as Barton, Lorelai Martin as Tatum, Cameron McIntosh as Aaron, Les Zorn as Dennis, Rihanna McAfee as May, and Russell Gold as Barnabas. Our theme music is The World Will Break by Dano. If you like this song and want to hear more from him, check out his website at danosongs.com. Our outro music was written by Thoro Smiley. For more stuff from him, check out his show's Attention Hellmart Shoppers, Harmless Phosphorescence, and anything from Harmless Entertainment Network. Also included in tonight's show are Help Me by Johnny Miller and the Benz, Pass the Barbary by Ava Luna, and The Right Thing to Do by Mega Gem. They are from the Free Music Archive and used as part of a Creative Commons license. If you like Tunnels or any of the shows from Haunted Griffin Entertainment, there are a few ways you can show your support. You can give them 5-star ratings wherever you rate and review podcasts, this allows for broader visibility, allowing for even more people to discover us. You can tell people about us on social media, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, or even MySpace. Putting our show out there can bring even more people to our listening audience just like you. And if you really want to help, you can support us on Patreon, where you get early access to all of our shows on Haunted Griffin Entertainment, care package opportunities, and exclusive access to our patron-only series, Ghosts of Griffin. To become a patron, visit us at patreon.com slash hauntedgriffin. You can also purchase t-shirts, coffee cups, stickers, and much more at our Tee Public store at tpublic.com slash user slash hauntedgriffin. For more information on Haunted Griffin Entertainment, visit our website at hauntedgriffin.com. Join us on social media. Our Twitter is at Tunnels Podcast, or join our Discord. Our audio drama spotlight is shining on Cryptid Cake. Avra Nunez wanted to start over, so she picked up and moved to Water's Edge in hopes of the open editorial job at the local newspaper. Water's Edge is just your everyday average town, except for the fact that it might be home to some unusual citizens, like ghosts, gorgons, nymphs, and even the Jersey Devil. Join Avra's journey as she discovers that maybe monsters aren't really so different than the rest of us. Subscribe and listen to Cryptid Cape wherever you listen to good audio dramas at. And always remember, support audio drama. <laughs>